Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and I got a nice little update for you today with the rat's tail radish. Let's bring this plant a little bit closer but before I do let me quickly mention as you see the plant is leaning a little bit to the left this way. The reason why is because I actually moved this plant to make space for all these little jars that I put in not too long ago and I pushed this thing a little bit over to adjust for the light and forgetting to move it back started stretching to reach the lights up here so in about a day or two it'll come right back up and I don't mind because this actually brings the plant a little bit lower and I could lower the lights to bring them closer to these plants so it's kind of a win-win for me at the moment and this plant is basically let's bring it down here so we can really look at it this plant right here was planted from seed I sowed it on what was it on May 29th and it germinated on June 1st, so it's basically today's June 15th, so it's uh, our 15 day mark. And let's spin this jar around, we can really see what it looks like. Look at all this nice little, nice new growth that it's putting on. And as I mentioned, this is a rat's tail, that's a, a radish plant, that basically grows these edible seed pods that grow after it flowers, and it leaves basically a nice little edible seed and it looks like a, like a rat's tail. So I'll show you what that looks like when it gets a little bit bigger. And that's just my dog in the video. Sorry about that, but he likes gardening also. And I grew this basically in some uh, clay pebbles right over here. These are some hydroponic clay pebbles that what I did was I originally started this plant. I sold all, I sold all my seeds in cocoa core, like you see right over here basically. And what I did was because I wanted to put this plant in some clay pebbles, I just carefully shook off the coca core and rinsed off whatever whatever was left, and I just placed it in the neck cup here, with the roots just barely touching the bottom, and then I covered it up with these clay pebbles. And look at this nice. Let's actually take it out. Look at this nice, beautiful root system right over here. And you could tell that it's healthy because look at how nice and clear and white this thing is. And it's gotten quite big actually, so it's doing really well. And you could see the nutrient level is quite high still. I originally filled it up to 1500 milliliters. This is uh, basically a half gallon size mason jar that I painted black and I left a little line to see when the nutrients drop down. This way I know when it's time to refill. And this is basically like I mentioned, day 15 of growing rat's tail indoors hydroponically using the Kratky system. So we'll come back in about a week or so. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer everything. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.